Here we go. What I wanna do is show you how to graph h of x equals cosine of 2x. So the main important thing when graphing the cosine function is we gotta remember what the parent graph looks like. So if you don't know what the parent graph looks like, you know, you might wanna watch the video or just take a look at your um, book or whatever notes you have and look at how the cosine of x looks like. And one thing we notice is it has an amplitude of one, which is the half distance of your y, y value, uh, your y max and your y minimum value. It has a period of two pi and there's four critical points. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna refine all those points with our transformation of 2x. So the first thing I wanna do is look at the amplitude. Let's see if the amplitude has changed from its parent graph. So the amplitude, remember, is the absolute value of a, which a in this case is going to be one. So the absolute value of one is just gonna equal one. The period, remember, is going to be the distance that it's going to take for our graph to complete one complete cycle. So the um, rule for period is take two pi and divide it by b, where b is going to be your coefficient of x. So in this case, we have two pi divided by two equals pi. So rather than my graph taking two pi to complete a cycle, it's now going to take a distance of pi. The next thing is, remember, we had critical points for the cosine graph, right? It started up at its maximum. Then the next critical point was a x-intercept. Then it went down to its minimum point. And then the, last critical, or the next critical point was another x-intercept. And then it went back up to its max. So to find the distance of the critical points, what I want to do is take, take my period and divide it by 4, because there's four critical points of our period. So I take my period, which is pi, and I divide it by 4 which is just going to be left with pi hat, or pi over 4. The next thing is, when we were graphing our initial graph from the parent graph, our graph started at x value of 0 and ended at an x value of 2 pi. So we want to see, by multiplying by x by 2, is that going to change where our initial parent graph, um, par the, the graph of our parent graph, is that going to change the initial period? So what we do is we take whatever's inside our function, and we write the start, is that going to change now that I say, rather than x equals 0, we're going to say 2x equals 0. Well, when I divide by 2 on both sides, I get x equals 0. So the starting point's still going to be the same. And then the end point is now going to be um, 2x equals 2 pi. However, when I solve for x in this case, instead of getting 2 pi, I'm now going to get pi. So when graphing this, I'm going to create my x-axis here. And I'm going to have my y-axis at 0, obviously, right? x equals 0 for your y-axis. So we're going to map out our first four critical points. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we'll go in the negative direction as well, negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So remember, the distance between my critical points is pi over 4. That means from here to here is pi over 4, from here to here is pi over 4, from here to here is pi over 4, and here to here is pi over 4. That means to find each critical point, I just need to add pi over 4. So pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is pi halves. Pi, pi halves plus pi over 4 is 3 pi over 4. And then 4 pi over 4, which is pi. I can also now go in the negative direction with the same values. OK, so now the next thing, we want to go ahead and label our y-axis to um, help us work with our amplitude. So we notice the amplitude is going to be 1. That means my graph, the half distance of the max to the minimum value is going to be 1. So the total distance will be 2, which you guys can now see. So I go to 1 to negative 1. Now the next thing is we need to know exactly what our graph looks like for cosine. Remember the cosine of graph, when looking at our initial period, is going to have a y-intercept at one, or 0, 1. Therefore, it goes to the next initial period, a next critical point as an x-intercept, then goes down to its minimum value, goes up to an x-intercept, and then comes back up to its max at pi. So you can see now it has taken a distance of pi for our graph to complete one cycle. Now continuing this graph, you could keep on going in the positive direction, or we can also continue it in the negative direction. So by continuing the negative direction, we're going to have critical points at these values. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph the cosine graph of 2x. Thanks.